Let me just start off today's video by saying Happy Father's Day to all the lucky dads out there, lucky enough to have children. Little background on myself, I'm currently a single man who doesn't have any children whatsoever. Uh, here we are, it's Sunday. A little hot day in Michigan. Actually, it's very humid. It's only 78 right now, but the humidity's brought it up to about 81, 82. So you can see we've got a good amount of growth going there. About eight days of growth that I've just ignored up until now. But it's Sunday, it's Father's Day. My dad and I and my brother and my stepmom were going to a nice restaurant this afternoon out at a golf course locally. And we're going to we're gonna celebrate Dad's special day of the year. Uh, up until just now, I had been really unsure what kind of shaving cream I'd use. I knew I was gonna do another shave with the with the Dark Stag Razor, but today we're gonna do so with some good old Gillette Foamy Regular Shaving Cream. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go off camera a little bit because it we don't need to spend a bunch of time showing the lathering process and anything like that. So I'm gonna pause the camera and we're gonna get the lather done. We're gonna come back and shave. Hold on a minute, everybody. Okay, we're all lathered up. It's time to go. We got the dark stag safety razor. We're gonna make light, gentle strokes and passes. It's Father's Day afternoon. How are all my fathers who watch my channel? You all doing great this afternoon? Hopefully all of you are doing just absolutely super. Super and swell. I'm really still trying to get the idea of this safety razor completely just you know trying to get the amount of pressure dialed back that's a battle that you know because you don't want to use a, a lot of pressure with these cartridge razor on the other hand use all the pressure you want Those things, they're made to, they're made to tackle pressure. And so far we're getting a nice, really clean shave with this. Razor. It's doing a really good job for me. I can honestly say that it's not too hard to get it to handle and to really dial back the pressure on the face. Although I'm not used to holding the handle at a 90 degree angle to the face. Cartridge razors, they just aren't shaped that way. And so that's very difficult. The neck on the other hand with this is what poses the most difficulty to being able to really know how much pressure to dial in or dial back. And really know whether you're doing the right thing with it or not. Uh, early on, I'm nicking myself a fair amount with this cartridge razor, especially when I use it on my head, or this double edge razor, especially when I use it on my head. And I may, when I head shave, I may have to go 
back to a cartridge razor. It may only be my only option. I'm going to go ahead and lather up to do the second pass, second round. Hold on. All right, so we got the second lather on to go back and do pass number two. Against the green on the neck, very gently. Time for a rinse. And on the, on the face, we'll attack it going sideways, nice strokes. I don't want to make a particularly long stroke when I shave just yet. I feel like that really poses too many risks. With a double-edged razor, with a cartridge razor, I'd make a, a fairly long stroke on the cross, the green pass. Across the side of the face. At this point I now, and you can see I've nicked myself, at this point now I'm not completely satisfied with the amount of stubble that's still left. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to pause, we're going to lather up for a final pass and come back. Round three and final, shall we? Third and final round of the sheave. Against the green. Nice slight strokes at a 90 degree angle. That's how you do it. You always want to hold that. That's where you want to use the least amount of pressure because that's the way that the, that's where, you know, you're, you're cutting the closest to the skin. So you really want to make sure that you, you, you know, like I said, you dial back the pressure most coming down and with the grain. You can be a little bit more liberal about your pressure because you're just not cutting real close. You know, you're you're not cutting real close at that point. But coming back against the green, you wanna you wanna dial back the pressure as much as possible because you no know, otherwise that's where you're li likely to cut yourself with a DE razor. And we wanna avoid cuts at all costs. Like right there with another nick. Let's just do one more time on the neck. Coming, you know, some of my hair sort of grows this way on the neck. No, it kind of grows that way. So we'll kind of attack it 
going nice and sideways. Detailing around the goatee. An absolute must. Kind of checking things over a little bit to make sure that, you know, they have the baby butt smoothness that we're going for, you know. Make sure gradual beard reduction is paid off the way we want it to. No, yeah, we got some nicks, we got some cuts. But, after 10 minutes and 45 seconds, the result of the shave is pretty darn good. I'm even going to add a Father's Day treat. Father's Day bonus for you. Real quick. I'm going to come in and I'm going to clean up my face. I'm going to do so off camera, but I'm going to come on back. I'm even going to show you what today's aftershave is. Hold on one minute and we'll be right back again. Alrighty, so we are back now. And today we are going to debut, uh, we're going to do my first post-shave routine on YouTube, which today is going to be the Cremo Cooling Post-Shave Balm with the Refreshing Mint Shave, or the Refreshing Mint Scent. I'm going to go ahead and squirt some out. It's a nice balm that... You know, it, it's got a great smell to it. A little bit like Vicks Vapor Rub, but more pleasant than that. Don't get me wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and rub that in. And Now oh, here we are. Mm. These post-shave balms really do a good job of repairing any damage that's been done from the shave. And I have a fair amount there. I've nicked into my nicked into my skin a fair amount during the shave. So I wanted to get that covered and you know get it fixed. By the way, this uh dark stag razor that we used today, I put a Vanderhagen blade in there. I went to the store the other day and got some Vanderhagen blades I think I paid about three bucks for uh, five or six double-edged blades in these. So, that's our shave. Hope everybody has a great day. And, and every one of you who are dads out there, have yourselves an excellent Father's Day.